Hey guys, this is Dangs87. So, in this video I'm going to be talking about sprite sheets. Now you might have heard of these before. These are pictures that can be used for animation in sprites. So they're a little bit like a flip book to make it seem like something is walking. You need it to have a standing animation and then either feet to be moving. In each individual picture you have a slight difference and then when played in a sequence, like in a flipbook, it will make it look like it's moving. It takes a relatively long amount of time to get your sprites done, but once they are done, that's it, and you don't have to have, ever do them again. So now we're going to talk about actually making your sprites. So first of all, you want to create a background, so change the fog color to something that isn't too harsh on your eyes. I prefer gray. You might prefer the blue or any other colour, just don't use black at the moment. Then the next thing we want to do is in our pause menu, use front view. This gives us a 2D perspective. Depending on your artistic skills, you can either make it from scratch or you can use something that's online already like Mega Man. This is made from a Mega Man template. We are going to be using a small grid snap and sticker panel. So if we use each individual square as a pixel, this will allow us to use pixel art in our Little Big Planet projects. So what we do first of all, a bit like a newspaper, we will choose the individual colors that we will be, we will be using. So I use black and I use white. I also use a gray for the shading of the white. I use blues and teals. So for each of these, I will make a light color and I'll make a slightly darker one as it's shading. The shading is actually quite important to make your characters look a little bit better. Without shading, they're a little bit plain and a little bit boring. So once we have our colors, we can then move on to actually designing. So here I have the Mega Men I've already designed. I have used GIMP, the photo editing program, to zoom into its sprite sheet. Then I can see each individual pixel and I placed each individual pixel also adding in some shading. Then all I have done as to make my own individual as opposed to making it Mega Man I wanted it to be my beta creator so I've made Mega Beta by deleting and adding in my own features and colors as I said before doing pixel art actually takes quite a long amount of time now persistence is really what you need here because it can get boring if you don't find art interesting so keep going keep at it and eventually you'll have them all done. Thankfully shading in pixel art is actually quite easy. You decide where the shaded area is going to be then you remove the pixels that you think would be shaded and add in a slightly darker color that would be there. So for white I've used a slight gray. And there we have it. This is how I have created multiple of beta creator. So we're going to do the same with each Mega Man turning them into beta creators. So each step also has, the jump also has been changed, all of them have been changed into beta instead of Mega Man. Now you may notice at this point that your thermometer would have gone sky high because of all the individual pieces that we actually have here. So what we're going to do is change these into photographs in-game pictures that we take. Using R3 I'm going to stop the camera from moving around then I'm going to get my camera tool and I'm going to take a picture making sure that I've got a little bit of surrounding around it. I'm then going to change the fog color to black you'll notice that you won't be able to see the outline of your character if you use black of course. Then I will take a picture and now I have a photograph, in-game photograph of 
the character I've made. Then we can change the fog back to our original color so that we can create. Then what we're going to do is do the same with each. So we need a photograph of roughly the same distance. So don't zoom in and out or anything like that. Unless obviously you have to. The jump will need zooming in and out. But we want them roughly to be the same image. Then we're going to use sticker panel and sticker template and we're going to use our photo as a sticker template. Making sure you still have your grid on, make the sticker template a little bit bigger. It does not have to match the size that you originally made the character. So we're going to place that down. You'll notice that it is highly contrast at the moment. There's too much brightness. If you just turn the brightness down, 50 seems to be a good brightness but 40 will give you the shading that you had especially if you had light colors like gray will not show up so 40 is a better one if you're using light colors make sure you save your original creation because we're about to destroy it and what we're going to do is turn off our snap grid using a piece of square sticker panel material we're just going to sticker over all of it so it becomes one object as opposed to lots of little objects You'll notice the color will bounce around a lot and you need to make sure that every single block is then joined together and made a single sticker panel object. What we're using this for is a template. So it is absolutely essential that you save it before you do this otherwise you will lose all the work that you've painstakingly gone through. Then we will change our template down to an opacity of around 40% just so we can see through it. We will also need to make a duplicate image of our picture we have below in the sticker panel. So turn your snap grid on, take a duplicate and place it down. Now we have two of the same images. Make sure they are on the same flat layer as your template. Then we are going to go back into front view and we are going to copy our template, shrink it or make it bigger depending on how big you made your picture to the right size and then we are going to delete it from our picture. We can then turn back on our snap grid and we can place it over the second image and delete again. This removes the outside and gives us a perfect picture. You may notice when you delete it that there has been odd pixels missed out. Take these pixels and line them up yourself. You may have to turn off snap grid to do this and delete the appropriate one that was missed. And there we have our very first sprite made of sticker panel. It will take up much less thermometer and will be completely usable as a sprite. You can also shrink them quite well Next, you'll need to do the same for each individual we've got on here. Once you've done that, you will have a, a list of them that look like this. They look very similar to their originals, but they are my beta versions. In my next tutorial, I'll show you how to animate these sprites that you have made and so that they can also interact with the surroundings. He can now run along the floor and he can jump onto things etc. Top down sprites are essentially the same thing however you will need to make sprites for moving sideways so standing, walking and you'll also need to make them for moving down the screen because you actually you're almost a flying sprite so you can walk side to side, he can walk up and down so his down would need to be facing you and his up would need to be facing away from you I will be covering a lot more on different types of sprites in my next tutorial. Well, thanks for watching guys, keep tuned for more and don't forget to subscribe. Cheers guys.